Welcome back to the Sean McDermott Show. It's time to take a look back at the tape from the Bills' overtime loss with the Bucks with our good buddy Eric Wood. E, the Bills stormed back in the second half to erase a 21-point deficit with some heroics from Josh Allen. What did you see from the offense in the second half? Well, after no design runs to the running backs in the first half, Ryan Dayball started dialing up some runs, and that led to some big plays on the ground as well as it opened up some things in play action for the Bills. Also, Josh Allen was able to make some plays with his legs, and I also liked how Brian Dayball was able to script some plays to get some guys, especially like Dawson Knox and Gabe Davis, some open looks down the field. Well, let's start with that Singletary run that you mentioned in the third quarter. This run came on first and 10 and went for 29 yards. This one caught the Buccaneers off guard because they were strictly in pass rush mode. You can see by the edge defender how far he gets up the field and it allows the pullers to get up in space uh, and make the blocks down the field. And Devin Singletary is able to rip off this uh, almost like a sweep with a down block by Dawson Knox and get the pullers out in space. And this was a great play and a great cut there by Devin Singletary. A few plays later, the Bills get their first touchdown on a Josh Allen designed run. Now, is this a read option play, Eric, or just a play fake? Without me having played for Brian Dayball, it's hard for me to know exactly what this play is intended. If there truly is a read option fake to it, but there's a lot of moving parts and this is tough for the defense to fully diagnose. And you see, because Josh Allen's able to score from 18 yards out, I believe it's truly a design run for Josh Allen based upon the pullers coming from the right side of the Bills offensive line across to the left-hand side. But Darrell Williams is able to get the kick out block Spencer Brown comes and he's leading the way. Josh Allen's able to avoid one tackle, then it's off to the races for the Bills touchdown. Josh Allen had another huge run in the fourth quarter to set up the Dawson Knox touchdown. Break down this 23 yard play for me. So the Bills often will run a QB draw and instead of having the running back lead up in the hole, which traditionally will happen on a QB run, if they can diagnose that it's man defense or they can pull a linebacker outside of the box with the running back, they'll run him on a swing route like they did here. And then Josh Allen is able to get more space in the field. Uh, and, and Josh Allen unfortunately gets his legs wrapped up at the end of this one, which I think led to the ankle injury. But this was a big play for the Bills. And in desperation mode in the second half, sometimes you have to design quarterback runs like this because he's such a great asset for this team using his legs. Then on the next play, Josh hooked up with Dawson Knox for the aforementioned 15 yard touchdown. What'd you see on this play? This is a cover three defense by the Buccaneers and these red zone windows get tight with the zone coverage and Josh Allen does a great job as soon as Dawson Knox able to get that flat defender out of the way to his left. As soon as he cuts the, up the field, Josh Allen delivers the football perfectly beyond the linebacker level and in front of the safeties. On their next drive, Josh connected with Gabe Davis from four yards out to bring the Bills within three and this one had to happen quick, right? Yes, Chris, in, in the red zone, especially this tight red zone from the four yard line, these decisions have to be made extremely fast. Josh Allen has to beat the blitz as well, coming off the left side of the Bills formation. And he identifies a mismatch and one-on-one -on -one coverage there. And he throws it to his biggest receiver uh, out there uh, in Gabe Davis for the touchdown. And then on the last drive in regulation, Josh hit Dawson Knox again to set up the game time field goal. And Dawson Knox stays in initially like he's going to be a blocker. And this is tough for the defense. And when you're in man-to-man -man defense, uh, oftentimes the guy who Dawson Knox is blocking, the guy who would guard him when he goes to block will trigger. And when that guy triggers, Josh Allen does a great job of finding him. And Dawson Knox, uh, who's been great this year, running after the catch, does the Rex to bring the Bills within the 15-yard line, which would set up the game time field goal. All right, Eric, thanks as always for the analysis. We'll catch up with you next week to break down the Bills matchup with the Panthers. Looking forward to it, Chris.